today we're here at another Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Orlando. Yeah, we're here to try some new, uh, some of the food maybe. Yeah. We're here to have mainly like a chill day today. Mm -hmm. We're not like in a rush to do anything crazy. No. And we're also here because it's been like two weeks since we've been to Halloween Horror Nights here yeah. in Orlando. And we kind of want to give the mazes another try. Maybe they've gotten a little bit better and it takes a while for the groove yeah. for to get the groove on. So yeah, that's what right. we're here for. Mm -hmm. We're here to chill. So come join us and let's have a real spooky night. Yeah. <laughs> so we came here a little bit early for Stay and Scream. Yeah. And they're bringing out the floats. The little set pieces. That's cool that this is how they do it. It's convenient. Yeah. Because obviously they can't leave them all day. Yeah. That's the one I There's like five or six of them. I wonder what happens when it like starts to rain. Do you think they put them away? Uh, I don't think so because they're plastic, right? Uh, I think so, yeah, probably. This is the entrance for the Stay and Scream area for the weekend and the Universal Monsters house. I'm excited. Are you excited? Dude, I'm scared. <laughs> it's like it takes a while for the yeah. for me to realize we're gonna go through houses today. Yeah, usually like when I'm already waiting in the line for the maze or the house, I'm like already starting to get butterflies and stuff. So right now it hasn't really hit me, but then it's gonna hit me when we're waiting in line. Yeah. So we're doing the stay and screen for the weekend maze. Yeah. And that one, op this one opens at 5:45. Yeah. And then the the one Legends Collide also opens at 5:45. Yeah, we saw that the like the Halloween one. That one opened at 5:15. So this one, we just assumed it was gonna open at 5:15, but it didn't. But it's okay. It doesn't seem like it's too long. But we were kind of talking about it, and like most of the mazes in the beginning of the night are super long, and then like at the end of the night or towards the middle of the night, they're like 15 minutes wait. So we're gonna see if this is worth it or to just come later. So we just went through the weekend after hours nightmare. Yeah. I think it was really good. Yeah. Nothing has changed since the last time we went through. No. Um, and I didn't expect it to be like monumentally better because yeah. it was already really good the first time we went through yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I really liked it. No, yeah. I think it's still a really good maze to walk through, like especially when you're looking around. I tried to go in with more confidence this time with like not covering my ears, but I still got scared. So yeah. it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So right now it says it's a 40 minute wait. Yeah. We waited like around 45 minutes. Yeah. I got my favorite drink for HHN. This is literally like the drink of HHN and I hope they bring it back next year. Next year, sorry, I have hiccups. I got some hiccups and I was like, oh, I'll get a beer to make my hiccups go away. So, cheers. Yeah, what did you say good. earlier that it tastes like a combination of? Like monster and angry orchid. That's like the best way. See? The best way I can explain it. Bugs eating the live is next. 55 minutes. I know, already a long wait. Earlier it was only five. Now it's 55. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay, so now that we've gotten out of the Bugs Eden Alive and, you know, compared to the first time, what did you think this time? I liked it a lot more this time around because yeah. we got to see a lot more and actually enjoy the maze. Yeah. And you got some good scares in there. Yeah, actually, so this time I actually, like, looked around and I actually looked at the characters because last time I think I was so, like, there's just so much going on in that maze, it's especially with the icky. touching, it's with icky. the touching stuff. I think it really like clouded my judgment of looking at everything else because this time I was looking at everything and like, I think I have, what do you call it? Typophobia or something like that? Yeah, I have like a little bit of that typophobia because a lot of the characters and this one, the more deeper you go in, they have like it on their face. And I was like, eee, like, eee. Yeah. I don't know, like, it's stuff it's like just, that, I'm like, eee, no. There's this one part in the maze where you're just kind of walking through this dark room. Yeah. And it feels like the spiders are like, it feels yeah. like there's like spider webs around you yeah. or something. And yeah. it just feels like very like nasty and stuff. Compared to the last time that we were here, mm. I would still say it's like in the top three for me. It, I think it even went up a little bit more. I think maybe it's like my second because I actually got to like look at everything. I think it's important to look at everything that you can in this maze. Yeah, it's really, it's a really fun maze too. Yeah, even though it's I like it very like scary and like icky and yeah. if you have like a fear of bugs, yeah. you might not like it, but 
that's not really my fear. Yeah. So it, it was like a little bit more fun this time around. Yeah, I didn't even know I had that fear until I told him. I'm like, all oh, those people with the holes. I was like, ooh, I can't, I can't look at them. All right, so what are we doing next? So I think we're gonna get something to eat because we haven't tried anything from this event and we want to try something. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. So let's let's see what we can find. Yeah. Are you? You can't really see them. It's an open face burger with garlic to Texas toast with jalapeno bacon, spicy candied pork belly, crinkle cup fries, and cheddar cheese sauce. So we got the haunted horseshoe. Yeah. Dude, look how oily that is. I think it's been sitting there for a while. I know. We asked for it and she was like, pop, right there. I know. But it's on Texas toast, so. The struggles of trying to pick up a half sandwich. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to just pick it up like that. So here's the thing. I like the concept, but if it's gonna be sitting out like that, I would prefer it like a little bit more like, cause the, the bread is already really soggy. Yeah. And it's hard to pick it up. Um, and it's just like a big mess. Like, I don't know. It, it, when you're at Horror Nights, it's like, you kind of want to keep it like as simple as you can. So it's just a little too messy for me, but I'm sure it's gonna taste really good and really greasy. Yeah. So let's, let's, clog my, let's go ahead and clog my arteries. <laughs> Soggy, well, it's really soggy. I think I would have enjoyed it more if maybe the Texas toast was like more crispy because it's it's just like or soggy fresh. bread or fresh. Yeah, it's just soggy bread. The meat, the meat patty is a little dry, and overall, it's just like it's just not my cup of tea. Like, so it would have been a little bit better if it was just fresh. It's just I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it. Maybe you should try it because I'm not the best in like having descriptions for stuff, but okay. I, I need to try this because this is something. Okay. <laughs> right off the bat, 
I can agree with him when it comes to like the sogginess, the texture, because like I'm gonna show you me trying to lift it up and you tell me if it's holding together well. And like I get it, you know, it's bread and the meat is like on top of it, but it's very like, see how it's just kind of falling apart, you know, like you could see it's like soggy. Um, but I'm gonna try it all together. I'm gonna try to put all the pieces and take a bite of it so I could really judge it because I've been really wanting to try this item since I saw it on the menu. So if it's not as good as I think it's gonna be, then I might be a little disappointed because I was really excited for this one. So let's see, but see, look, look at how messy. I have to have like my whole hand in it. And if you're not comfortable with eating stuff like that, which especially when it's hot and sticky here, I think the, having the bread fresh and toasted would have been a lot better in this case. Cause right now, I mean, my whole hand is in this sandwich right now. I don't know how gross that is to you, but that's what I have to do to take a bite of it, basically. So I do agree with you, the patty is dry, which is very weird because everything else is very like soft, moisture, so it makes it even more like a soggy dish and the yeah the meat is dry and the meat is a little salty too I'm not gonna lie to you well, you could taste the graininess or the saltiness mm -hmm. like the salt yeah I don't think they needed to do too much with this dish because to be, to be honest with you Texas toast on a hamburger patty with bacon and nacho cheese and fries that just sounds amazing on its own but I don't know I like okay the nacho cheese is like sweet but okay this is gonna look gross but look it this is basically I don't know if you can see it but that's why he was trying to explain to you it's not his cup of tea because it's, it's, it's a lot you know what I mean I think if we would have had like a cutlery and be able to cut it and like take bites I would have suggest doing that Actually, based off of like what I'm seeing, I would suggest doing that if you can. They get, they only had spoons left when we went, but yeah, it's a, it's a little everywhere. Good thing we got the Coke Zero to wash, to cancel out the calories of this monster. I was telling Louis, we should have, we should have um, popped our handy dandy acid reflex pills before we had this, the Tums. Yeah, you might want to have some Pepto with that. Tums, bring Tums with you. I don't know if that's like an old people thing, but I mean, I know I'm gonna have some heartburn later with this for sure. So an important thing now is officially out, it's the map. So before it was just like speculation because they did make like some changes last minute. So they didn't have any maps available until today. So it looks like they even have like the merch. You can even see the merch on the right side. So they have like the new bu bucket hat that we have been seeing all over for Hall Halloween Horror Nights. And finally it's out. The popcorn bucket, all the little boo stuff, spirit jerseys. Let's see how it looks like when you open it. Ooh. Okay. No more speculation map, this is it. It's like this. So when you open it, it's like this. So now you can officially see where everything is, all the mazes, and even like restrooms and things like that. Because for us, we used to go to Monsters Cafe to go to the restroom and relax, but we had to look for other restrooms to kind of chill at. So this is like a really good way, and you can get them right in the front. So just ask them for a map, and then you could get a better idea of like where everything is. They also have the map on the Universal app if you don't want to use like paper, but at least now this is like an official thing. Yeah, the, the guide is here. And then they have like all the numbers that you can find where the map is. Yeah. That shows you all the mazes. And they even show you like all the rides that are open. Ooh. All the different dining places you can eat. I mean, I like that they kind of showed you right here. Yeah, because like the first day they had done like a misprint because they had put uh, the coven yeah, maze. Yeah, the Spirits of Coven and the, the Hell Block for, of Horror was switched. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, and then now they show you like doing the RIP tour. You could get the Express. They're like, they're calling them their survival tips. So come early and stay late. Wait times are always longest during the middle of the evening event, which is true. That's yeah. like what's happening right now. Check out our original content houses first. Make plans to catch up ghoulish. To catch ghoulish? Head to the back of the park first. Uh, I like that they added, yeah. I yeah. like that they added all the tips. So if you guys want to take maybe, a screenshot well, maybe, of that. Maybe next year when we come back to HHN, we'll make like a, survive, a survival's tips too. Ooh, that'd be I like cool. that. Yeah. yeah. And then they have like 
the Russia Fear Pass, how many nights includes, the Frequent Fear, the Plus, and the Ultimate Frequent Fear Pass. So it has all the information for you. A lot of people were waiting for the map to come, so I'm glad now that they have something that people can use because it is a little hard to find your way in the night. So we've come to an end to a real spooky night here at Halloween Horror Nights, Orlando, Florida. Yeah! Night two for us. Yeah, night two. We're yeah. really excited to be back yes. here and experience at a more like calm pace. Yeah, yeah. Definitely like getting us getting the frequent fear pass has made it more of like a convenience for us. If it's convenient for you, get it. But for us, we were able to come and have like a spooky date together, you know, and just relax. Yeah, nothing too crazy. We got on two mm -hmm. mazes. Yeah. We tried some good food, some okay food. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad that they rolled out the map. I know. So now that's going to help us out and you guys out because honestly, like it was a little confusing with the speculation map because everybody was kind of just following that. But now it's like an official thing. Now you can have, a, you know, like a little memory of you coming to Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. And I like that they added the survival tip, which is yes. Good. Like reading those where I was like, okay. Those oh, are, you, yeah. I would consider those tips. Yes. Yeah. And then also like pictures of the food Got to see like the scare zone that we didn't get to see the last time because even even though we had express that time, we like we, we ran. We ran through the mazes. No, yeah. We literally ran through. Yeah. No, we didn't. We, we walked. But it was still really fun. We did. <laughs> it was a really fun night, a very spooky night indeed. Yes. Uh, we can't wait to be back soon. We'll try to make it next week. Yes. But so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out. And you know, we're gonna be making more spooky content and con spooky content. <laughs> we're gonna be making more spooky content. So just subscribe and ring the notification bell. Because, you know, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Okay. It, oh, by the way, I did want to mention today's Wednesday and it's really packed. I know. And there's a lot of people still coming in. Yeah. Like, seriously, there's a lot of people. Yeah, so it's barely 9 o'clock. Yeah. I know we're leaving a little early, but it was, it was chill. Supposed, that's why we get the pass. Yeah. You know? But thank you guys for watching this. Real, Real in, in the, the magic. magic. Bye. Bye.